So I've had a few days to think about the performances against Watford and Man City and how that affects my opinion on the potential takeover. I'm not sure you'll agree with me, but let's go and talk about it. Bear with me for a moment as we talk about the surrender to Watford at the weekend. Now, I'm not going to talk about that result too much, but it does give context to what's going on at the club at the moment. And to be honest, it's pretty depressing. After a positive start to Project Restart, winning and drawing some really important games to ensure Premier League survival, the last few games, with the exception of Bournemouth away obviously, have really started to feel like the wheels are beginning to fall off. And this is the problem with Newcastle United under Mike Ashley. We only ever seem to be two or three bad results and performances away from complete disaster and for pure rage and anger to pour from a section of the fan base. I said after the defeat at Watford at the weekend that it was a performance that highlighted perfectly why Newcastle United are absolutely desperate for a takeover. Under Ashley, we have been ground down to accepting mediocrity, or even slightly worse than that, if we're absolutely honest. There's nothing mediocre about aiming for 17th each season. It is far worse than mediocre. And to me, there seems to be two sides in how you react when we have a bad match and a poor performance. For some, results like the one against Watford still spark absolute fury and rage from some supporters in our fan base, whilst others, and I'd include myself in that, have become so acceptant of these kinds of results, uh, so numb to the pain of those defeats, because let's be honest, there's been so many of them over the years, that they no longer make me out, they no longer make us outraged like they would have done even four or five years ago. And that is as strong an indictment of Mike Ashley's ownership as there is. To have ground down lifelong, loyal, passionate people who adore the football club to the point where unacceptable second half performances and heavy defeats are just accepted is as depressing as it is incredible. So here are my reasons why I want the Newcastle takeover to happen and they might not be what you think. I can only speak for myself here, however I know there will be others who agree with me, but for me this takeover is not about Saudi Arabia, it's not about human rights, it's not about becoming the world's wealthiest football club and attracting the best players and the best managers that are out there. The money in players, if it ever happens, is merely a bonus that I'd obviously be delighted to see. But for me, I want this takeover so badly for one simple reason, I want Mike Ashley out of my football club because Mike Ashley causes the multitude of problems that we see season after season. I want an end to the acceptance of mediocrity. I want to stop seeing the regularity of these heavy defeats and shocking performances that we've just become accustomed to. I want an end to the underfunding of the first team squad. I want an end to the underfunding of the training ground and youth academy. I want to see St James's Park be maintained by an owner who understands the value of what makes the stadium such an important part of the club's identity and the city's identity. And to be honest, there's probably a hundred other things that I could list right now. All of this is down to Mike Ashley, and as long as the new owner, whoever they are and wherever they come from, want to invest properly in the club and run it professionally, then I'll be happy with that. If you hadn't noticed, I live in Scarborough. It takes me two hours to get to St James's Park and two hours to get home again every time I go to watch a match. Now, I don't want credit for that. There's people who travel further distances than I do to go to, uh, to watch Newcastle play. But what on earth is the point in taking over six hours out of my day each time I want to see a Mike Ashley run Newcastle United team play? Now I have three daughters who I desperately want to be bitten by the Newcastle United bug in the same way I was as a child. But honestly, because of one man, it's not as easy as it should be. I want this takeover to happen for one single reason, to see the back of Michael, James, Wallace, Ashley.